and I've clicked the record button. Yo, what up? What up? So, I was struck with the sudden urge to build Chronostasis because I saw his XR and went, that's incredible. Yeah. And this leans more towards Breaker Tribal than Tech Tribal because I'm still not a fan of the Tech Pool in the My Hero Academia side of things. That's fair. Uh, and so we're playing a bunch of breakers of various zones that look good, uh, and a point blank shot because I want to see how it actually plays out. Uh, and then you're, you have the ability to make them keep stuff in their card pool. So just tongue whip them for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's, and I want to see how Tetra Terra works out. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Tetra Terra gets to go and pick up Tongue Whip, right? So, like, yeah. It can't be a bad card. It's not possible. It's impossible. Um, uh, the foundation lineup is really quickly slapdash thrown together. Some highlights are you're paying like two life a turn. So I don't want to die to like being punched twice and my own ability. So I put some super regens in there. Uh, might just be a need to practice safe forming and not go all out every single time. Uh, but the nice thing about the form is that you also get to play four of bench press and just click that button repeatedly. Uh, Yeah, and I'm just playing Up in Flames because it's a breaker with our face on it and we needed some low blocks and I want to see how it plays out. Probably doesn't do anything in 90% of games. It seems like a really niche ability, but we'll see what happens. Huh. Uh, we have officially entered our mad scientist era. Uh, and I, for one, am here for it. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We. What do you do? Nothing. Okay. I've got some I got some crazy schmooze that we're trying here. Okay. Uh you said something about up in flames just now, and I was so lost on a tech piece that I'm gonna show you that I missed it. Are you just trying it? Is that what you said? Yeah, that's what basically what I said, yeah. Okay. Um Okay. I think that you got pretty much everything covered. So now it's just about uh now it's just about like figuring out what the what the cool ones are. Alright. So let's uh oh this looks yummy. Damn, behind you, an assassin. An assassin? Thank you so much. Holy cow, these tacos look insane. Look at these Look at these breakfast tacos with waffle dip. And one slice of bacon. And singular slice of bacon. The rest is cut. Thank you, Rebby. I greatly appreciate that. Everybody, I'm spoiled. Yeah, you are. Okay. So, let's let's talk about So, at first I, I was like, "Oh, you don't have cooperation offer. This is a good card." And then you were here for the other deck doctor when I talked about Haymaker. And I think if your idea here is like, yo, I want to play like a good move. I think Haymaker being played twice is kind of incredible. And it's really good on the block. Like it's really good on the block. I block, I breaker, I force you to play another one or discard a card. That's really strong, right? Is it like, it might just be like stronger than what Piercer is doing, but Piercer is also like, an, an off zone move it's that same five damage five low for five four diff like i don't know you know like like something, oh, yeah. something to mess around with something to just like like tickle your brain and then i went man crystal choke slam uh 
does this card share two of our symbols? No, just one. Okay, never mind. I, my brain said that we got to play Tongue Wait, Whip do for it free. Just two symbols? Oh, Tongue Whip doesn't. Tongue no. Whip does not. Crystal Choke Slam does, but Tongue Whip does not. But we get to play Chronostasis Trigger. We get to play uh, Point Blank Shot. We get to play um, Needle Stab. We get to play Vile Seizing. All for free if my opponent is at ten or less. And they, they don't get to play to... Needle Stab because it costs five. Oh, true. True, 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 true. And they have to block this one for free, which means whichever card that I play, I get to play again. And so this Crystal Choke Slam says that I actually get to play this move twice. I get to play double Vile Seizing. I get to play double Chronosasis Trigger. And with this thing being a throw, it's very good. And then yeah. I went... What if we bury your shield our own tongue whip and we force a card into their card pool, give our tongue give give our the next card we play this turn breaker two, right? And then uh -huh. play tongue whip again. So every barrier shield that's in our hand is another copy of whatever attack we have because we don't hit the refresh and he doesn't say printed. If your rival has at least one card in their card pool, choose one breaker or tech card in my card pool and play it. Hey, my the next card I play has breaker. So I make whatever dog shit move I don't I make hey, I make I play low blow, I I barrier shield it. This thing is super slow. Hey, if you don't block it, you commit to. My tongue whip now has breaker two. I play tongue whip, I stuff the card. Hey, you have a card in your card pool. I'll play tongue whip again. Tam, you're giving out too much forbidden knowledge. The <laughs> Illuminati's gonna be knocking on your door. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I think this is instantly a 4X in this character because you give <laughs> anything, you just give your tongue whip breaker too. That's so sick. How many tongue whips can we play? It doesn't matter how fast they are. We're just gonna play tongue whip over what? and over again. Isn't that cool? Yeah. This this is just, this is check a five, a, a five check version of play tongue whip again. Hey, I will play my Tetra Terra onslaught again, right? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. That is really cool. I don't know how we don't just and 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 like, ugh. I guess if we absolutely need to, we can do it on their turn. <laughs> <laughs> just like block with whatever we have, and then and then play the thing, you know. Hey, yeah, just get him with the, hit him with the breaker four. Your turn's, turn's over. Four, your turn's over. I guess. I guess. I this single handedly makes me want to play Crustaceous. <laughs> this is the coolest tech of all time. This is. I haven't seen you this happy since Capture Evil Doers Tetsu Tetsu Thrasher. Correct. Oh my god, don't get me started. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think that this is really cool. I like Crystal Choke Slam, but it's like, eh, whatever. Haymaker is eh, whatever. This is this is some real, real technology. Holy cow. Just Those this, four cards are an expanding brain meme this, right now. Yeah, th this and this says that I get to replay any move. What move wants to be played twice, right? What move, like, this is obviously the best one to have a pair of, right? But, like, what move wants to be played twice? Yeah. Incredible. 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 Bullet Punches wants to be played twice. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you could just, like, play Barrier Shield and it's another copy of Bullet Punches in this deck. The thing about Tongue Whip is, like, it fulfills the other half of the clause with Chronostasis, though, right? Because they have to have a card of their card pool, and they do. Yeah. Low Blow, Tongue Whip, Enhance on Barrier Shield, play Tongue Whip is, like, an insane, insane thing to do. I love it. This is sick. And, and you're playing... Um, oh, I accidentally put these in your main board. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, in control, uh, League of Villains, and then the uh, Mastermind's Apprentice. 
Uh, you already had this in at a one of, or did I mess this up? Uh, I had in at a two or a three of. Oh. Uh, it is now okay. Um, but yeah, I, in control, low block under the evil symbol that says plus two or minus two speed, and throws are prevalent, and so giving that minus two to their check to say, hey, you failed it. Like, imagine they play a throw, and the first thing that you, they were trying to... They play a throw, and they're trying to get out the twisty, and you say, uh-uh, it's this one. Right? Hey, I'll, I'll flip this minus two. Okay, I'll commit my two. All right, you deal with that attack. All right, play the next move. Twisty surroundings. Okay, I'll pay for it. All right, barrier shield. All right, I'll break her, th break her through you. Okay, I, I guess that I've, I've committed seven foundations. Um, Chronostasis is the flipping tax man just yeah. coming to take your entire paycheck. Yeah. I mean, that's the evil symbol right now, right? The evil symbol just gets to do do this, 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 and say that throws are illegal. You just don't, don't get to do them. Um, and so, like, as we look at our low blocks, what are our two diff low blocks? Hmm. Hmm. Like, like is trusted assistant better than in control i don't think so but like this guy this has our face on it and this doesn't so like i get wanting to play it it was also i had a big glut of uh two difficulties sure and so i was trying to season some one difficulty sauce in there just <laughs> i mean if trusted assistant is gonna get played this yeah. is probably the number one guy who will play it that is fair yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and if it's not gonna get played then even chronostasis won't play it and we'll Put them into the kindling. You ready? Let's get a little spicy with it. Let's just do one trusted, one city up, uh, one up in flame, and then just the two uh, in controls. Yes, we've increased our um, our twos by one. We've decreased our fives by one. But I think that it's not going to be that big of a deal, truthfully. Right? Especially yeah. when you look at like what your five diffs are. It's this one, this one, and they want to be played first. So it's not like we're trying to string out a bunch of five diffs. We're stringing out a bunch of four diffs. Right? Also, if we're going to keep replaying that tongue whip on the same difficulty, does it even matter? True. Absolutely. What is progressive? It's something for other characters. <laughs> That's true, man. This this technology is so sick. Holy cow. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, you get to replay Tetra Terra Onslaught if you have two momentum. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll play this Tetra Terror three times. <laughs> oh, I guess the echo flips it, right? You get to if you have two you play it, then you do play it, you chrono. Yeah. And then you echo it yeah. for the final one. And so like pay nine, attempt to grab three tongue whips. That's what can go wrong. That, what yeah. can, what can go wrong, actually? Uh, before we get too far, what's this number look like? Uh, like 60 to 65. I, that's how I feel as well. Um, you've got a lot of attacks here, and you're trying to replay them, right? So, like, the, like as long as you have one, you have two, is, like, the, the thought. Or that one dealt damage, which is, like, pretty cool. Uh, we did just put four high blocks in your deck, and so we're going to look at maybe cutting some highs down here. That was one um, of the last most agonizing part was cutting a bunch of highs and then you're like let's jam four highs in there yeah, but yeah. it's so good i can't say no it's probably one citywide crisis one super region let it let it rock it also cuts another four check out of our deck like this card is good don't get it twisted but we did just put a better version of it in our deck mm -hmm. yeah you and then you and then this is 66 with 23 Maybe a little attack heavy. Um, and so, like, play the deck. See if you like it. Maybe it's, like, cut needle, needle stab or something. But, like, this card... What do we use momentum for? It's just Tetra Terror, right? Discard three cards. Grab this. My other thought with it, though, was uh, that, like, you just speed up a tongue whip or something. And, sure. And really get them. That's like, it's just... It's very versatile. You can give it the five damage... Like, it, it, it does a fair bit, and it's also a tech, so, like, you block with it, you freeze them both in place, you get to lead off with Needle Stab next turn. Yeah, I don't hate that. Um, 
yeah i like this i like how eclectic your foundation lineup is right like intimidating presence is like a neato card it's probably not like hyper consistent but like i'm sure that we could i'm sure we could find something that's not this but it's neat right i also uh, just love the idea of them going nice try and me going nice try nice try yeah oh that's incredible actually that's incredible that's that's technology i had not thought of yet so it's nice try is everywhere what why <laughs> um no this looks good I, I hey i just said that i was gonna try this nature <laughs> deck <laughs> And I think I have to keep that promise because I don't have Chrono Trigger Tetra Terror. But with this card, I can make anything a, a breaker. So, hmm. <laughs> What's a breaker next? Yeah, they all are. At least as long as you're on evil. Yeah. When you're evil, everything's a breaker. Uh, also, I think that you're going to like Point Blank Shot. I think Point Blank Shot saying everything gets plus one speed is like very, very cool. Um, and and like you do get to just uh, like if they block it right you, know, you play it again and be like okay but now you have to block it even harder yeah by a million yeah or or, or, or like pretend that they like don't block it right you play the vile seizing first they block that one and you go point blank shot this might this might just be 10 damage right like if you could block it before you're definitely not blocking it now and it's powerful mm -hmm. right it's a good momentum out to like like sometimes it's like not 10 damage it's it's a uh, it's nine damage or uh, sorry not five it's nine mm -hmm. yeah all in all i think that this is the list i think this could be cleaned up just a little bit like tamar cardwell hates super rejuvenation do you need a bunch of shock absorptions is confession better than a third season brawler right it's like this is a cool hey we're trying this kind of card out uh, that's a high block though Confession probably isn't better, uh, but it's about balancing the block zones. So, like, that's fair. If you want to cut one to go, like, if we're yeah, gonna go outside the high block, twenty-two. If we did uh, that, actually, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just straight now, cut one of those very mid mid blocks for for the season brawler. Confession is up there. It has to be up there with one of the one of the number one cards that I add to every list, and then in the first round of pruning goes leaves like it just has yeah. to be it's such a weird card that feels like it doesn't actually you read it and you're like this has a lot of words it must do something and then you read it and it's the and you're like it might even help my opponent more than it helps me so why am i even doing it yeah because like i mean we were playing earlier today and you were just draw a card discard a million times what if i gave you a free one of those for one life yeah. How how many times did you take that deal? Uh, nineteen times. Exactly. <laughs> so like, is confession even a real card? Probably yeah. not. I dig this. I think this is super neato. This is super neato. I'm gonna blow some people's minds at the next locals. That's for sure. That is exciting. All right, thank you for the uh, for the help. I greatly, greatly appreciate it uh, at, at expanding my brain. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. Yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks again for the support. You uh, have a good rest of your night. I have thank some tacos you too. Eat. Yeah, eat tacos and watch Trigon. All right. See ya. See ya. Peace.